Okay, so we're going to be making this part that's a stop here. It's number 207-6-43. When we look at this, we see here that the width is 5 inches. So from here to here is 5 inches. The height right here from top to bottom is, or bottom to top is 2 inches. Um, and then the depth across here is also 2 inches. But it also tells us that the base is 1 inch by 2 inches. So let's see, if that's 2 inches there, then that has to be 1 inch this way and then five inches across. So that's that was kind of easy to figure out. So then that means the top part here, we have to do a little bit of figuring this out. If it's going to be three inches, we'll say that that's the three inches because that's the long side of it. So that leaves us with one inch and 0.75 inches. And if this right here, that height is two, and the base of this right here is one, that means that this is a one inch distance there and that this is 0.75 here. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll go back into AutoCAD, click on New. Start with our DWT file, and we'll go ahead. I'm going to change this to do to be UCS front there. Um, I'll go ahead and draw a rectangle using a polyline, and we said that that was going to go up one, and then over two, down one, and then C to close. Then we'll go back here, and I'm going to extrude that back this way, 5 inches. All right, I'm going to go ahead and draw, move, just pan over this way a little bit. I'll do a polyline, draw another one that goes down 1, back this way, 0.75, up 1, and then C to close. Extrude that one, 3 inches. Now this is where the hardest part of this whole thing is this right here. So we have to move this, and when we move this part, right-click, we're going to click that midpoint and move it to this midpoint right here. And that's not finished because what we've got to do is union the things together because otherwise it's going to be two separate parts. Now it's one part, notice that line disappears and it's all solid, and that's how you know when you're done. So um, we're finished. We'll click Save As, and we'll go ahead and make this 207-6-43. Um, it's a stop click save then what we'll do is we'll go back here and um, click plot EWG to PDF extents center the plot preview it looks good right go ahead and click plot save that as your model right there and so that's what you submit all right um, have me check it and then we'll move on